Hey everyone, happy Paper Airplane Day. My name is Seth Mayo. I'm the curator of astronomy for the Lohman Planetarium here at MOAS. And for today, I wanna to show you how to build a couple very simple paper airplanes. Two different types I wanna explain. I'll show you how to make them, step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. And I'll talk about the physics of each type of airplane, how they are different and how they apply to real world situations. Uh, also, I am a pilot myself, and so I have some training and have some background in aviation. Uh, so let's take a look at the physics behind a paper airplane, and then we'll get to the build. All right, so for any aircraft, we have some forces to consider. Now, the easiest and most simplest one to understand is that there is gravity on Earth pulling the airplane down, right? That is the weight of the aircraft. That's why you want to make them light and not too heavy. There's also lift, right? That's what makes an airplane fly. The wings generate lift and that is the force acting upwards on the airplane. And without lift, we wouldn't have airplanes flying through the air. Now, of course, for lift to be generated, we need the airplane to be moving through the air. And so that's where thrust comes into play and for a paper airplane, since it doesn't have engines or a jet engine on it, the thrust comes from the initial push or throw from you or whoever is throwing the airplane. Once you're letting that go, then there is no more thrust. Basically, the paper airplane is trading its altitude, its height above the ground for forward motion and speed through the air. And then the last force to consider is drag working against the forward movement. This paper airplane or any aircraft hits the air molecules and it kind of slows it down. That's why you want to make airplanes as sleek and as aerodynamic as you can. So now we know some physics behind airplanes. Let's build a couple. All right, so now we're ready to fold our paper airplanes. And the great thing about paper airplane building is all you need is a sheet of paper and some folding and that's it we don't need any tape or glue actually the less materials we use the better it keeps the airplane light and we want to fight against that gravity pulling the paper airplane down so i'm just using a standard printer size sheet of paper eight and a half by 11 size here so let's get to it and the first type of airplane we're going to make is called the dart this is the first type I ever learned how to make. It's the most common that you see. So you may already know how to build this type of aircraft, but uh, we'll just show you how to build it here. So let's uh, start with the first fold. And that is a kind of half fold or what's called hot dog style fold. So we're gonna fold this right in half, hot dog style. So we'll bring this edge all the way to this edge here. We'll try to line it up as best we can. And then we make the fold or make the crease. You can kind of run it along the edge there. And if you really want to make your folds nice and crisp, you can use your, your fingernail and you can really kind of push down on it. Do you want these folds to be really, really creased and really done well? It makes it paper airplane uh, fly better and it, and it is constructed better that way. All right, so we'll open it back up and we'll have a nice crease right through the middle of the paper here. Next step is we'll take one corner, we'll take this corner, you could do the other side either way, and we're going to take that corner up here and bring it all the way to the very middle where we made that crease. Just kind of put it right before the crease, pretty close. So we're making this little triangle shape here. And again, we'll make the folds, push it down, and I'll use my fingernail to really get that nice and creased there. Okay. Then we'll take the other side and we'll take that corner and bring it all the way to the edge here. And if things don't line up perfectly, uh, that's okay. You know, we'll do our best. See, mine's not perfect here, but that's okay. We'll, we'll make it happen. There you go. Nice and crease there. And crease that down like that. Like that with our finger now. Okay. So now we have this sort of almost like a house looking shape here. Okay. Then we're going to take this corner or the other side, either way. And I'm going to turn it this way so we'll have a better view of it. I'm going to bring this corner to the middle again. 
So let's bring that all the way up to the middle there, like that. And you can kind of see this is kind of lined up with the middle, to the middle crease. We're going to fold it all the way down like that. There you go. I'll use the crease method again with my fingernail. All right. And I'm gonna spin it this way. And I'm gonna take this side's corner here. I'm gonna bring it to the edge, just like I did with the previous side. Bring it to the middle, as straight as possible here, and crease it down, fold it down. Using my nail once more here, there we go. All right, now we have this kind of shape that you see here. Again, if it's not perfect, that's okay. Take some practice, and I don't always make these things perfectly myself. Now we have that shape. Now we're gonna fold that in half right there, kind of on top of each other. Make sure the fold is nice here. There you go. And now we'll take one side and one basically wing, because we're making the wings here. We're going to fold it over and we're actually gonna make a little crease right here. That's basically where you're holding onto the paper airplane. That's what we call the fuselage, right? So we'll make that crease like that through the middle and I'll kind of show you again where that what that looks like and where that fold is. So see how I made a fold right there, okay? And this starts to you know show you where the nose will be of the aircraft. So here we go, we'll fold that, we'll make it really nice and folded here. There we go, and then we're gonna flip it over and do the other wing. So you wanna make the other side folded where you're, where you're holding on to. So let's take that side, we'll take this side here and kind of meet it up with the, the other airplane wing. So they kind of mirror each other. We're gonna make the folds nice and tight here. There we go. It's all coming together. And when we open it up, ta-da, we have a paper airplane. Look at that. So we have the nose, the wings, underneath the fuselage where you hold on to. Now a couple tips here. Um, if you really want to give the airplane more stability, you want to kind of bring the wings up a little bit like this. That'll actually provide a little more stability, okay, like that. Another way to really provide stability, and stability is how kind of smooth and straight the airplane will fly, right? If it's not stable, it's going to be going all over the place willy-nilly like that, right? So if you add some stability, it will fly straighter and more smoothly through the air. So you can bring those wings up a little bit like that. So it kind of has that sort of shape that you see there. And also another step is you could add these little folds at the end of the wings called winglets. If you're ever riding on an airliner and you see these little things pop up on the end of the wings, those are called winglets. They also increase stability as well for the aircraft. So now we have some really nice stable features on this airplane, again, this is called the dart, and it really cuts through the air. So this type of paper airplane uh, is a lot more aerodynamic. It is one that really is kind of a straight flyer, kind of a quick, fast, straight flyer. So it sort of resembles like a jet, right? Jets are very sleek. They don't have really, really big wings, and they have less drag. That reduces the drag on the airplane, so it can cut through the air a lot better, right? And so that's what this type of airplane does. So we'll take a look at how it flies. Here we go. All right, for this next build, we're going to fold what's called the glider. And this is one of my favorite types of paper airplanes to build, one of my favorites to fly, and I think it's even easier to fold than the previous paper airplane, the Dart. So let's get to it. So to begin, we're gonna look at the piece of paper in this way. Skinny sides are kind of up, down like that, and then the wider sides are like left and right like that, okay? So keep it like this. And we're gonna take this top corner here, either side works, and bring that all the way over to the other side. So we're making a really big triangle like that. So we'll kind of keep these nice and, and uh, straight here, try to line it up as best you can. All right, and let's make the fold. Nice, we'll take our fingernail again and really crease that up. Okay, we'll flip it over. Let's have this little corner here, kind of the top there. We're gonna 
take that and we're gonna bring it all the way over to this side here, okay? So here we go. Uh, we're gonna bring it all the way over. We're gonna line it up like this. I'm gonna make the fold nice crease with our nail. And you'll see this sort of shape here. So we wanna get to this part here. So again, we took that big triangle here and we made it into an even smaller triangle as we folded that over. And there you go. Now, next step, we take one side or the other and we're gonna flip it in half like this. So we're gonna take that side, we're gonna bring it all the way in half and line it up with that other wing. Okay, like this. And then we'll make the fold. Let's really crease it up here. So you should have a fold down the middle like this. There you go. So I should have, there you go. Now that we have that fold, what we can do is you can take this top point here, which is looks like the nose, but it's gonna turn to something else. And we're going to bring that over like that on top, right? Like that. Just make a shape similar to this. You see that? Okay. All right, now let's do that fold one more time. Bring that wing here to the other side, kind of like we just did previously. And we'll kind of bring that a little closer here. Get that to kind of line up. Might not be perfect, but that's okay. There we go. And we'll make some nice and very, really nice creases here. And hey, look at that. We got, we're getting there. So now it's all folded together that. And one last step here is we're going to make the fuselage where you're going to hold on to. So we're going to take one side here and we're going to kind of flip it on itself to make that crease. And I'll show this to you again just so you can see. If I flip it over, see how we're making that little tab here for the fuselage? All right. So we'll do that. Okay. We're going to flip this over to this side, we're gonna take the other wing that we haven't folded yet, and we're gonna bring it over like this. All right, make it really nice and tight there. Oh, look at that. So now you should have something that looks similar to this. Look at that, there you go, there's the tab you hold on to. And again, you might wanna bring the wings up a little bit, give it some stability. Okay, so it kind of looks like that. And again, for further stability, we could make those winglets, those tabs on either side. And there you go. Now what's different about this glider is look at the shape of the wing. There's a lot more wing, right? Like most of it is wing. And so this type of paper airplane is uh, called a glider because it has what's called a high aspect ratio that means the wing area is much larger and that makes more lift provides more lift it does make this airplane have a bit more drag so it does slow it down to the air but there's more lift so when you throw this type of airplane it stays in the air longer and can kind of circle around for longer through the air because of this larger wing area the high aspect ratio as compared to the dart which is a much more sleek, uh, smaller wing area, but much more sleek and it cuts through the air and goes a lot faster. And so these two types of airplanes you see uh, in aviation, right? We have gliders and airplanes with very large wings that flow, fly a little bit slower. We have darts or jets or very sleek aircraft that fly very fast and cut through the air. And one other thing I'll do before we fly this one is you can always take a marker or crayons and make your own design as well. So I'll, I'll write MOAS here for our MOAS airplane. And you can make any other cool design that you want to really customize it. There you go. All right. So let's try to fly the glider. Here we go.